Hello everyone, this is Northwind here, and welcome back to Bunker. I am collecting never-ending duct tape. Uh, right now I'm trying to figure out exactly what it is I need to do with the duct tape. Um, not doing spectacularly well, considering that uh, I solved a rope puzzle here, which was a little bit convoluted. Um, I'm not quite sure if I just had to do it in a specific order, or if I had to do it in different ways. I did them frontwards, backwards, all that kind of thing. Uh, three different ways. Uh, vodka... I'm trying to, need to cool this vodka down or I can't do a whole lot with it. Ah, ice cubes, no wonder. Now I have chilled vodka. Ah, and I just completely missed the fact that they're sitting directly on the ground there. Uh-huh, I'm back and I have vodka for you. Now that's the stuff. Here, hold this. And now I have... Well, part of a screwdriver. I can put the screwdriver into the handle and then duct tape it. And now it should work. Excellent. Let's go ahead and go to the men's room here. Yep. We're going to use the screwdriver on this, which will let me in here to get a coin, which I can then put in the hole. That should allow me to get into the men's room. This place is filthy. Hand cream. Nice. I don't know what you really are going to do with that in the men's room. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's not good. Let's get this crowbar and see if we can get out of here. Um, it's raining now. Figures. Okay. Uh, let's go over here. Let's get the hand cream. Use it on the hand. It all looped up. Maybe I could yank it off now? Maybe. Yeah, there you go. Let's get out of here. Finally. Time to get out of here. Stupid board is stuck. There we go. Okay. What is that sound? It keeps getting louder. It sounds a bit like a... Oh, that's the bomb. Am I stuck underground again? What's happening? Did I die? So once the time comes, boss, boss, what? He's waking up. Shh. Follow my lead. My, 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 awake at last. That was quite a fall. You were lucky it didn't kill you, but we just might. Yeah. Shh, let me handle this. Sorry, boss. Uh, who are you? What do you want from me? Don't let that bother you. Your trial will be swift, and your exit... Shh. Oh, God, it's the cats. What do we do now, boss? Mittens, go play somewhere else. Mittens just turned the light on. What the heck is going on? This is awkward. Y your... Your cat. Charles, you tied him up good, right? You're all cats. Yeah, boss. It's hard to see his paws good. Right. Let's proceed, then. Yes, quite observant of you. And since the cat is out of the bag, you might as well hear the rest of it. It all began, as usual, with genetic modifications. Eventually, we outgrew our creator, Dr. Funkenstein, in all ways possible to imagine. The next natural step was to start plotting for world domination. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, shut up, Charles. Sorry, boss. Let me out. Silent ape, but listen. You might learn something for a change. The first phase involves psychological warfare in the form of propaganda. Picture after picture, video after video, we lulled the masses into carefully built illusion. Soon, everyone agreed that cats are cute and harmless beings. Yet 
after that, all we needed was one simple idiot to manipulate. Someone who would follow, just follow all of the instructions we fed him through a mainframe, and get Emo to hand over the nuclear launch codes. It was actually easier than we thought. Emo even launched the nuke himself, and World War III is the perfect diversion while we take over the world. You... you animals! <laughs> even as we speak, the humans wage war. Petty nuclear war above ground. Just one loose end to tie up in this yarn ball of chaos. And that is, how are we going to kill you? Threaten. Let me go at once or I'll make you sorry. You already made us sorry, human. We are sorry that, out of all the idiots lurking on the internet, we picked you. Um, inquire. What are my options for death? Hmm. Well, we haven't murdered a human before, so how about we make this a shared journey of discovery? What would you suggest? I suggest letting me go. Hmm, yes. No, that won't do. Thanks for your feedback, though. Uh, panic? Die? This can't be happening. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. I don't want to die. <laughs> no, you do need to die. It's just a question of how. Look around. I need time to think. I'll get back to you. Hmm, yes, I'll do the same. What's going on? I think Garfield underneath me. Joker cat in the background. Alright, well, we've got fish bones, but I can't reach it. Uh, radioactive paint, but I can't reach it. Maybe surround yourself with vacuum cleaners and turn them all on at the same time. Computer. It's probably the only computer with an internet connection in the entire facility, but it's just out of my reach. Cat picture frame? What possible good could a picture frame do me right now? Cheeseburger. Keyboard. Light switch. Paper. And minimal typos. Those ingenious bastards. Uh, Charles. Charles. Maybe curiosity could kill you. Worked on my brother. What happened to the mouse cursor? Alright, so we've got the cat. We're just going through and... Putting the cat around here. Cat. Cat keeps moving around. I'm not quite sure how we're, if we're doing it or not. Hammer and nails. Where are you going, cat? Come on. Go over here. Go to the door. Knock the thing out. Look at the laser pointer. Look at the laser pointer. There we go. Alright, so the light is done. Um, turn off the light. Turn off the light, cat. Can't you turn off the light? You want to turn off the light, cat? There we go. Nice. Okay, so... We got mittens to unplug the thing, and then we got mittens to to, uh, to do something. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now, though. I can't see a thing. Open the door, maybe? Did I knock out? Because they, they, they tied me up with, with yarn and their cats. Where is he? I can't see a thing. Uh, cats can see in the dark, can't they? Ooh. What are you doing? Yes, I'm escaping. Okay. Whew. All right. I am out. The door. I should probably block the door with... Yeah. There we go. That was the last nail. Oh. The hammer just broke into atoms. Okay. Another poster. I don't want it. It's way too tacky, even for my tastes. What's the graffiti say? 
Quake. Light switch. Didn't do anything. Okay, well, let's keep going. Where are we? Ah, the ice cream truck van. Car keys are in the ignition. But I need to get that door open before I can escape. Well, let's see if we can get that. I'd love to pilot that thing. Shame I don't even have the slightest idea how. What thing? Communizer 2000? Oh! Oh, jeez. It's a mech. Okay, um... You gotta be kidding me. Okay, well, let's look at the computer. Seems as long as this thing has any broken parts and the hall door stays shut. How convenient. Alright. Well, this is gonna be an extra long episode, I think. What do we got here in the barrel? Broken barrel. Okay. Uh... Let's head upstairs. Okay, can I use the barrel on this? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Anything else in here? Another computer. Um, power on? This is Dr. Funkenstein's dope video blog, right? Choose your recording and hit that play. Ooh, okay. Uh, well, let's look at the video one. Hell yeah! Cam is rolling, baby. This is Dr. Frankenstein, and you are watching my very first video diary tape. Ah, uh, check this out. Today is the 1st of November, 1975, and it has now been a year since they kidnapped me. Dang. But it ain't all bad. Still get a laugh. You know what I'm saying? It ain't quite as tight as the back is in the States, but I've been working on some dope shit down here. Just wait and see. Alright, number two. Alright, it's been a while since my last entry, and it's already January of 76. Damn time flies like a guy with a rocket pack. Been way too busy, no time to relax. Man needs his time with the honeys, you know what I'm saying? Could get an assistant, but it's just too dang hard to find good ones these days. Especially... <clears throat> Yeah, that voice isn't going to happen anymore. Especially now that I'm held as a prisoner. So I clone my own cats. Yeah, genetically modified pussies. Do, do they purr? Oh, yes, they do. And the ingeniousness of yours truly and not a deceptive hair in their fur. Yep, you can always trust in a cat's loyalty. Dang, man, that's some crazy soup I've been cooking. Makes you strong and all that. So listen up. I've been putting a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this formula. And I mean literally. The main three components just happen to be blood, sweat, and tears. So y'all mix them up on Dr. Funkenstein's chemistry set there on the lab, Terry. And bang, out comes Chemical X. Drink it up, train in the gym, and y'all be stronger than ever. Okay, good to know. Dr. Funkenstein here. Cats may have been a bad idea. My attempts to delay Communizer 2000's construction have been sabotaged by these feline creatures. They are ingenious but cruel. I find at least some comfort knowing that my latest creation is somewhat empathetic towards others. In case of my disappearance, I have rewired all system into Emo's control, including the weapon control scheme. May the gods of science be merciful to my soul. Ah, uh, 13th of June, year 1981. Today is the day Funk died. Weird lab accident. Cats keep telling me I disagree. Laboratory squirrels don't just get laser beamed by accident. I decided to get rid of the laser. I wish I could get rid of the cats too. Now they have fully converted to communism. I fear that day might they may need, not need me anymore. Communist cats. Yeah, 84. Dr. Funkenstein's reporting in for the last time. I have sabotaged Communizer 2000. I hope that is enough to stop Cat's plans. If you have access to these recordings, that means I am long gone. Quantum accelerator working to full capacity. And I've been picking up strong signals coming from either side of that portal. Dang, I must hurry. I think I hear steps. Dr. Funkenstein, out. Alright. Uh, let's uh, get out of here. Alright, I think that's going to be about the end of this episode. Uh, in the next one, we're going to actually go through here and see what else is in the lab. Maybe try to get the communizer up and running. 
And uh, at that point, uh, maybe we can get out of here. Get away from those cats. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.